Hi, this is Kanda the Smart Home and my name is Ali Reza. This tutorial is about basic of using display with ESP Home in Home Assistant. There are several types of displays that you can use. Using each of them with ESP Home has its own method or it's better to say that has its own platform. In this tutorial, I have Heltec LoRa 32 IoT Devo that has an OLED display based on SSD 1306 driver attached to it. The first step to use display with ESP Home is adding phones to Home Assistant. With ESP Home, you have the option to use any true type phone file at any size. Also, you can use fixed size PCF and PDF file. Before going further, please click the subscribe button if you haven't done yet, as it motivates me to upload more videos. Stay tuned. Grab a TTF or PCF or BDF file from somewhere on the internet, then upload it to Home Assistant by navigating to Settings in Home Assistant, selecting Add-ons, File Editor, click Open Web UI. Using File Editor, you can upload files. Click to browse file system. Navigate to ESP Home. In this folder, click Upload File. Then select the file you want to upload. Arial is the one in this video. I click OK. Upload successfully. In Home Assistant, navigate to Settings, Add-ons, select ESP Home. Click Open Web UI. I connect power to my IoT Devo. I have already set up ESP Home with my IoT Devo. If you do not know how to set up ESP Home in your IoT Devo, Watch the video in description. I click edit of my Heltech IoT Dev Board. At this time, we have to create a font section in our configuration.yam file, configuration of our ESP development board. Paste these codes. You can find the codes or let's say lines in description. This is the format I uploaded to Home Assistant. I set an ID for it and define the size. Also, it is possible to use Google Fonts. This section is related to using Google Fonts. Each Google Font will be downloaded once and cached for future use. After creating Font section, it's time to create Display section, or let's say Display component. By looking at the specification of my IoT Dev Board, we see that it has 100, the display has 128 columns and 64 rows. It has I2C communication and is connected to the ESP32 via three wires. So we have to use I2C bus. Paste these lines, you can find in description. By navigating to Pinout diagram of my dev board, we will see that for SCL we have to use GPIO 15, for SDA we have to use GPIO 4. So SDA set GPIO 4, SCL set GPIO 15. Okay, let's paste display lines. Paste these lines, you can find the lines in description. The platform is SSD 1306 I2C based on the drive of my display and its communication. If your display is connected to ESP32 via four fires, it is connected over SPI. You have to use SPI bus. 
choose the model based on the display. Mine is SSD 1306, 128 columns and 65 rows. These are the list of models you can use. Reset pin is GPIO 16 based on pinout diagram. In display section, we use Lambda, which will be called every time ESP Home wants to re-render the display. In each cycle, the display is automatically cleared before the Lambda is executed. You can disable this behavior by setting auto clear enabled to false. In the Lambda, you can write code like any Lambda in ESP Home. Display Lambdas are additionally passed a variable called it, which represents the rendering engine object. By default, ESP Home will align the text at the top left. The top left is always the origin of the pixel coordinate system. Also, all points in this coordinate system are a pair of integers, like 0, 0, as you see, which represent the shift to the right and shift downward. So, in other words, this one represents the horizontal axis width. This one the vertical axis height. I have defined two lines. In ID section, you have to insert the ID of your font. The first line I use a real font, as you see it here. And for the second line, I use robot, as you see it here. These are the text I want to be displayed. If you have connected an external display to your IoT dashboard, do not forget to connect VCC and ground of your display to VCC and ground of your development. Okay, after pasting the codes, which as I said, you can find them in description, select install. As my dashboard is connected to my network wirelessly, I select wirelessly. Wait till installing edited YAM file completes. Installation is done. Subscribe Smart Home is displayed. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to leave comments. Also, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't done already. You can support me by buying me a coffee. I'll see you in the next video.